This is Russ with Winged Saber Historical Fencing. I'm going to run through a form which I was taught by Professor Hedon. It was something he literally created off of a karate template just to give you an idea of how to change your hands on the ax. This is a very important skill because if you're playing with an ax against somebody with a sword, they are gonna close on you. They're gonna poke you, they're gonna cut at you, and as soon as they get past the head, they're gonna assume, oh hey, I've won. And if you can't change your hands on the ax fluidly to use all of the parts of the weapon, they'll be correct. If you can, you can use the spikes and hammers and hooks and pokey bits and your big nice stick to good advantage. In some respects, this is the same reason as Asian staff styles tend to do lots and lots of twirl around stuff. The twirl around stuff may not be exactly for combat technique, but it's important to be able to change your hands on your spear, your staff, your pole arm at will so that if somebody is coming in close, you have the ability to make this an any range weapon rather than a one range weapon. So we're gonna start, hands in front of the chest, and the blade pointing backwards. For beginners, this will be the hardest part to figure out. So I'm going to step forward and come up. I'm gonna bring my other hand up, pinkies in love, come around with a lateral cut, step back, vertical cut, step back, I'm in the same position on the opposite side. I come up, I bring my hands up, pinkies in love. You'll need that later when you're trying to figure out, wait, what's my hand position? Pinkies in love makes things much easier to remember. So that's the basic beginning part of the form. I turn to the side to ward off a thrust. Notice my hand is to the outside of the stick so I don't get it cut. And then I jump and I bop the guy in the noggin. So, I'm going to do the jump face on so you can see exactly how it works. I'm here, I move to ward off the thrust. Now I'm bringing this down for the sake of the camera, but my arms are up high. I'm going over top of the obvious block that's going to happen, and the hop is intentional. I am bringing the weight of the ax in over and behind where the typical blow would come in. Not this, that. Because after your thrust has been warded off, if you're competent at all, what are you gonna do? You're gonna recover from your lunge and get the heck out of there, right? That part is designed to teach you, you have distance. In some ways, it's not dissimilar to doing a balestra lunge in standard fencing. So, work the form. I'll run through it one more time, facing the camera so you can see it. And notice all the different hand and position changes that go on in the process. Notice I left a step out here, just making sure the camera can see everything. And you will find that it's much, much easier to play with the Fokosh once somebody comes in fast and hot and wants to wrestle with you. I'll give you an example real quick. Come on, come on in. Coleman's gonna cut, and I'm gonna slap the weapon away, and he's gonna engage me in close quarters. Yep. So he cuts. Cut one. I slap it away, he comes in, why? Look at what he's got. He's got a point, he's got an edge. All he has to do is turn this way and game over, right? So as he comes in to use his long edge, and I'm out here, I have to do something. In this position, I'm in a real disadvantage. I push, he pushes, now we're wrestling, what can I do? Well, I can change my grip. Now I've got a thing he doesn't like. I can change my grip. Now I've got a thing he doesn't like. I can flip my hand around and throw the blow this way. Now I've got a thing he doesn't like. So you get options. Without the ability to change your hand on the Fokosh, you lose those options. And you'll need them once somebody closes in on you if we ever get cool enough that we include Fokosh in HEMA tournaments. Do that, do that lots. <laughs> Have fun. We've got more videos and content coming, so if you liked what you saw and it was useful for you, please stab the like button, slash subscribe, and punch the little bell icon so that you're notified immediately when new content comes available. Thanks, and go do the thing.